Yeah, so I'm kind of carrying on this video regards to the staff. And there's another thing that I wanted to say about the staff, you know, you know, people forget that they are human as well. And, you know, you get some patients that might think that they're here to do a duty and serve that. And that you will do for me. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I tell you what, some of these staff are bloody good, you know. I, you understand know what I'm saying? You couldn't reward them enough. You couldn't thank them enough. The ones that are, you know, the, the ones that are in charge of the, you know, in charge of them. You couldn't reward them enough for what they do. You don't know what they do more than what the patients know what they do, huh? Problem is, you've got so many people above wherever the asses they are sitting down in their golden thrones, right? Sitting, yeah. Tap tapping at the computer, and that's just it. But who knew? Who who knows it feels it? Who knows it feels it? And they feel it. They feel it. What patient doesn't witness it or hasn't witnessed in their lifetime to see the abuse that that they go through? Hmm. Huh? What about all the racism that they go through too? Hmm discrimination or the abuse that they go through too. And I don't believe that is just from patient to, to staff. It must also be staff to staff. All a pecking order. You with me? We're all dispensable, aren't we? Who gives a shit? When you really think about it, think about it. But you don't have to think too hard, it's a fact, isn't it? The minute that you can't do with that job or you just whatever, whatever situation is coming, you know what I mean? Uh, there's always gonna be someone else to, 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 to throw in there. Just like patience. Hmm? We're all a number, whether we work there or your patient, we're all a number. We all serve some, some purpose for some, some brief time. Whether death take you or you're just moving on to somewhere else. It's the truth. They take a lot of shit. And you know what's so sad? They have to take it. Like, like you start to say to yourself, what's in place for them? Do you understand what I'm saying? So you know you get these, you, you, maybe these charge nurses or these matrons, and then you get those, those other figures that are, uh, you know, to do with them, to the head of the uh, 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 nursing. But you know nothing's been done. And the reason why you know nothing's even done about all that stuff, which you know, you ain't about to challenge me on that big ones, because it's still happening. You can see as a patient, the shit that they still take. <laughs> the abuse that they still take hmm? and they still hold their heads up and take care these are human beings too you're here to do a job yeah but you're not here to be abused and disrespected huh spit after racially profile you're not here for that be it from your staff members your own colleagues or the patients facts I'm talking. So I do wonder, all these big bugs that are above, you know, the ones on the ground, doing all the groundwork, yeah, let's just say shoveling, let's say, let's say shoveling the shit, let's be real here, let's be real. Hmm? I don't know what support do they have. What support do they have? Or is it just a case of doing filing a report and that's fine, just get on with the abuse? It's bullshit. The whole system's a mess. Where's their rewards? Because I know it just can't be a little, a wee bump up of a, well, a pay rise or a little, like I said, you do a little summer trip or do whatever. You couldn't reward them enough. You couldn't reward them enough. You couldn't reward them enough for what they do. That's why sometimes it upset me when I go online, because I'm always on, uh, on the scent marks. <laughs> I'm always on anything that comes up. 
and who's receiving what and who's getting this and who's awarded that and how <laughs> to that. But I never ever see, uh, like, I say my girls and boys. Excuse the lights, making it a bit. Do you know what I mean? And that's sad. I've seen it way back from IFU, from the Lister unit, not so much there, but yeah, it was everywhere. But really, yeah, I've seen it. And they still committed. Not just committed to us as patients, committed to you, St. Mark's. They're they committed to you, St. Mark's. They're committed to you. <laughs> hey? You couldn't reward them enough. So you can say, oh, you know, I'm telling you from a patient's point of view. I'm telling you that. Huh? They touch my heart. I worry. And that's why I always say I worry that if the day comes, when the day comes, some of them might want to move on, some of them might want to go and have families and just quit it, some of them just might want to retire. I worry about that. God forbid anything more sinister happens to them. I worry about that. I worry about that because these ones that have been there for a lifetime, them dedicated ones, you understand what I'm saying? Those serious ones, the ones that set the markers for the rest to come in, you hear me? You know who you are. I worry about that. Because nothing's ever quite the same, unless you get that teaching right, unless you hand out, you know, like the baton. Or when a parent grooms that, groom, hands down that, you groom them right. Otherwise, the integrity, the, the, whole, the whole thing of St. Mark's is just diminished. It's just going to rot away. Hear what I'm saying? St. Mark's Hospital. Hmm? It's interesting how St. Mark's Hospital are, 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 they're fiercely protective over their team. I hear, inside and out. Fiercely protective over them. And you know that because, you know that, because there's especially for our example with the COVID thing that happened over at Norfolk Park Hospital, they, they're fiercely protective over them. What's theirs is theirs. And they were once fiercely protective over their patients too. Huh? Until things changed during the COVID. And then we became and then we became selective. But I believe it was already selective anyway. We were already we already were. Hmm? I think that I feel sad for some of them. I feel sad for them. I worry about them. We never have any platforms to talk about them in such a way, but I still feel, but I still feel sad about them. Like I said, you wor I worry that even, even, even if I speak about my consultant, I still worry the fact that, rah, what if he died? What if this, this, this registrar that we all love, and I, obviously I'll mention no names, that we all love, he's just like a, he's just great. What if, some, what if he leaves? Certain doctors have already gone. Don't you worry about that. Even certain staff, like I'm talking about nurses and stuff, you worry about that. You worry about that. So it's important that, that you know, that you, um, we have to train more. Because they can't take it, St. Mark's. They can't take it. It's too much on them. I can see that as a patient, and I've not just seen it just yesterday here at your hospital. I've seen it over years, okay? And then all of a sudden, you start to recruit more. You should have damn well recruited more when we was over the other side, damn liberty. You should have been doing that. You should have been doing that. 
Only when shit hits the fan, then you get a couple of agency nurses. But it's not about the agency staff, is it? Covering their shit. Recruit more. Especially if you're planning on leaving the situation like this, where you leave the unprioritized over at Norfolk Park, and you're prioritized here, then you need to get your shit together. And that means you don't just get some of your, a handful of your, you know, creme de la cremas that you've got here, and you, and you let them go over there from time to time. It doesn't work like that. What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? It don't work. Get your shit together, man. You need to get your shit together. Because you see, this lack of organization is going to kill patients. Trust me. Trust me. You may think it's heavy what I'm saying, but forget about the medical term. You're going to kill somebody. You're killing your patients. And it's going to happen like this. Your lack of organization. Get your shit together. It's costing people their lives. You need to think. You're so busy trying to get your bed. It's like it's like there's a timer. It's like an egg timer. There's an egg timer per bed. But you're not always covering everything about that patient's needs whilst they're with you. What the fuck is that? Are you trying to kill them? And even if that patient is, 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 is pleading with you, pleading with you that I'm not 100, I, something's just not right here. Why don't you, you don't even give a shit, you don't give a shit, said Marks. You don't even give a shit. Why is that? Why, why? We've got a problem. We have, a, we have a big problem. And if you don't start communicating with me and, 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 and your patients, and I don't mean do it in a fucking forum, online, because you guys are, are sneaking in there like thieves in the night, having to listen to what people are saying, and you're not doing anything about it. Let's be honest, you're not doing anything about it. Whilst you're online talking about big seminars and all your bullshit, and you've got selected patients covering your ass too, Huh? You wouldn't dare have a patient like me on there. Unscripted. You wouldn't dare have a patient like me talking, talking a whole different kind of truth. Hmm? Talking a whole different kind of truth. Unscripted. Don't tell me we don't need that in life, because you do. We can't, we can't thrive and live off bullshit. I don't get what's going on in, 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 in the NHS even today. I don't get what's even going on in this hospital today. You've got all, so many people, different ranks, different than that one's doing that, and, and you've got that one, and you've got this charge, and you've got, you've got all these different figures doing fucking what? Doing what? I, mean, I don't want to start veering off the play like I normally do, but the whole point is, is about taking care of your patients and taking care of your staff. And equally, when I talk about patients being abusive to staff, and some of them are damn well out of order. But, you know, you speak to certain people above them, well, you know, what is it? That's just how it goes. I think they come, like, everyone's in favour of patients' rights, yeah? I get that. I get that. And they're allowed to talk to you like, like, whatever. Some, pa some patients are honoured. Some patients are really honoured. Some patients, I'll tell you what, some patients I think to myself, rah, they're, they're just, they've been arse licked, man. Some patients are very honoured. I don't know what's all that about. Mm? Wink, wink. I should do <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's a whole different conversation. That's a whole different kind of video. Hmm? What's up with even that? Hmm? It's interesting, right? Look, it's just like, for example, you know, like, I mean, look, it's just like, all right, let's just, let's just talk about um, IFU Ward for a minute. It's just like, you know, have you ever seen some type of, I don't know if it's H-E-F-G, I don't know. But if you really look carefully, have you seen who, who's in each ward? Because sometimes they have it like that, right? It could be Ghetto Fabulous in a -bay. Mm -hmm. 
could be Government Lane in B Bay. It could be Oxford and Cambridge in C Bay. You feeling me? And I'm sure there's the same kind of pecking order with the staff. Staff equally are no, 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 hold on, I'm not even going there yet first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The patient. I've been on a ward before. And everybody was running around to this particular patient. And I'm just like, You just wait a little bit. Hi there, nurse. Can you just wait? You don't have to, you don't have to wait. Can you wait? I don't... It was all about this particular patient. It was all about this particular patient. I don't even remember who this patient was. It was all about this patient. I even noticed my consultant even behaved a different way to this patient and their family members. He didn't even acknowledge the rest of us on the ward. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? I think I'm getting the picture. I've always been got in the picture. I've always seen. I've always heard. I've always gone along. Hmm? You remain quiet, don't you? But you're still a patient too. I don't know if they call it diversity or whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't really understand it's some favoritism or what, but you must know who, why and what and whatever. Huh? You get some other kind of patients as well. I've been on that ward before. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've got people that might have a little drink now and then. We're not talking about a cup of char. It's crazy. It's interesting, isn't it? The kind of patience we have. Huh? Of course we have to deal with all of them. Then deal with us all fairly then. And even that's questionable, isn't it? Why do you treat some better than the other? Why do some people get certain treatment? Because the, the kind of, the, the kind of, I swear, the kind of arse licking, and I'm not saying, I, I'm not even going to say the kind of, no, the kind, no, the kind of arse licking I've seen some Ross, some patients get preferable treatment. I'm thinking to myself, rotted, how come they're not up in the uh, boudoir suite? Why are they not up in the private wing? Mm -hmm. Cause they're getting a whole lot of licking. Mm -hmm. You see, you see cause you're amongst them. You know because you ain't getting good treatment. Let, and let any altercation happen between you and that particular patient. Your side won't be favored, whether they've known you for a lifetime or not. I'm not paid to kiss anyone's ass, and I respect those staff that still now kiss no matter what. Sorry, no ass. Hmm? I respect them, that they're still not going to go there. Still have some dignity and integrity in, in, in your position. You have to respect that. Don't take the piss. Again. What rewards do they get? Huh? 
It's funny how you know North, even Norfolk Park Hospital. They have a, a what they got. A, they got a situation about what they got the video. They got the TV lights action talking about um, talking about um, 